Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a very quick video. I just got back from the post office and I got some cool things in the mail I wanted to show you. I'm very excited. I ordered some patty wax and I ordered some pens. So anyway, uh, let's go over the patty wax first. I thought this was cute. So uh, she wrapped all the patty wax. Uh, and then put Wizard of Oz stickers on here. Isn't that great? Oh my gosh. Okay. Hope everybody's having a lovely Monday. I am feeling much better. I'm going to have to cut this. Feeling much better. Every day is progress. But yeah, I went to the post office. And the post office was surprisingly not busy. I was pretty surprised for a Monday. But anyway. Okay. So let's see here. Let's see the note first. Oh look, I got stickers. Look, I got a backpack sticker and a sun cream sticker. Isn't that cute? You guys see those? Very cute. Got. I already put my diamond stickers on my desk. Um, okay. So. Robin Kidwell is the um, inventor of um, Patty Wax, and all her information is right here. I'll put all that in the description below so you guys have it. Um, and she has got awesome videos about how to use Patty Wax. Um, so her YouTube is here as well. She's distracted by diamonds, RK, on YouTube. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. Um, thank you for being a loyal Patty Wax customer. You rock. I appreciate you. Please keep coming back for great scents, colors, innovative storage solutions, basically to look pretty because it truly needs no special storage. I'm telling you, every time I go to look for one of the tins, the really cool metal tins to put the Patty Wax in, it's sold out. Like she sells out of the tins like so fast. If you get time, I'd love to know what you think of my wax. Feedback makes my product better and lets me know I'm on the right track. Enjoy your wax and have fun diamond painting from Robin. Very nice. Okay, so I went a little overboard because I, I saw the scents and she sells out of the scents so fast. Um, okay, and she always sends a sample. A little penguin sample. Let's see what this one is. The last one I got was Cherry Blossom. Let's see, this one is Blackberry Sage. Oh boy, look, it's so cute. It's like this teeny tiny little, little penguin. Oh wow, y'all, that smells amazeballs. Oh, that's lovely. And again, like I said, um, patty wax, there, there is a learning curve. I'm still learning how to use it. I've been watching um, uh, Robin's YouTube videos, uh, The Inventor. Um, so it helps to watch those. Okay, so the first one I got, oh yeah. Cinnamon stick. And it's got little shiny things in it. Oh my gosh, so awesome. Oh, I love cinnamon. That smells so good. Yes, please. Okay, so that's cinnamon. And then the next one is grape knee high. Grape knee high. And it's got little, I know you probably can't see that, but it's got like shiny little purple stars in it. It's hard with this light. Oh my gosh, it smells like grape bubble gum. Oh, it's so great. Oh, grape ape, grape ape. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm still on medication, so I'm like, bleh. You know? Okay, so we got cinnamon stick, grape knee high. Oh, what's the other red one? Oh, enchanted apple. Yes. Enchanted apple. I love apple. Anything apple. Oh, smells so lovely. 
I mean, honestly, I'm never going to go through all this wax. Um, but I love things that smell that don't involve fire. I'm, I'm a huge, um, I'm a scaredy cat of fire. <laughs> so I don't burn any candles. I don't do anything like that. Um, I have, um, you know, the incense sticks and oil. Okay, this one is Bird of Paradise. And this one has little, uh, you probably can't see it. It's got like little shimmery triangles in it. This one was supposed to be like a fruity. Okay, I mean, that one's okay. Not, wouldn't be my favorite. It's got like a florally kind of citrus kind of smell to it. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, my favorite so far is going to be the cinnamon stick, probably. And then lemon pound cake. Lemon pound cake, y'all. And it's got little duck in it, a cat face, some bear faces. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh my lord sweet baby jesus okay y'all i'm just gonna sit here and do this all day lemon pound cake is my absolute favorite favorite type of cake in the whole world um i'm infatuated with starbucks lemon pound cake i don't go to starbucks very often because y'all know i don't leave the house that often but when i do I always get their lemon pound cake. It's like my favorite thing in the whole world. And this smells just like it. So Robin, oh my gosh, kudos to you. This one, my fave right here. This one's my favorite. So lemon pound cake. And that was a new scent when I went online and got it. So, and then I have my other two, which is warm pear and cedar. That's the one that Catherine got me. I've been using, love that one. And watermelon. Watermelon smells amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm going to leave the lemon pound cake one sitting out because that's the one I'm going to be using today for my for my Trixie. So y'all definitely please check out Robin over um, on Etsy. She has a, a Etsy store, obviously, on, um, on Etsy. <laughs> uh, medication, I'm telling you. Um, <clears throat> so... Yeah, check her out on Etsy. I'll have all the links down below. Um, huge fan of this stuff. Like I said, it just takes a little getting used to um, because this wax is more dense than your pink wax. So um, it's thicker and it's, like I said, it's more dense, you know. Yeah. Um, so it takes a little getting used to and I highly recommend, and she does too, Robin, like before you use it, um, sit on it. If you're sitting there working on a deep heat, just sit on it for a little while. You can put it, um, here, I'll show you. You can put it, whoops, here's my light pad. So uh, when you turn your light pad on right here where the cord comes in, this section gets warm. I just stick it right there and let that uh, get warm on the back side. I always scrape the back side so I don't mess up the design on the front. Um, let it sit on the back side and let it warm up. You can use that. Um, just anything to get it, you know, warmed up a little bit so that it's more malleable. Um, so it'll work with your pen. So highly recommend it. Love it. Okay. So that's Patty Wax. All right. Then I ordered two more pens from Jim's Pen Shop. Uh, I love his pens. I love a lot of people's pens. I do like uh, Donnie's pens as well. Uh, from Drill Pen Frenzy. Uh, Jim just has a bigger selection. That's all. Um, both pens are great, but he has an awesome selection of pens. Um, and I got two pens, so I got two sets of um, multi-placers and their spacers as well in here. So that's nice. Okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure this has my address on it, so I don't want to show that. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, one of them says glow stick on it? Are you kidding me? Does it glow in the dark? 
Y'all, I will flip out if it glows in the dark. I'll be sitting here doing diamond painting in the dark. <laughs> oh, that would be pretty awesome. Okay, wait, which one is that? Hold on, let me see real quick. See-through swirl? Wait a minute. No, that's the... No, that's the other one. Hold on a second, y'all. Sorry. Oh, boy. That one's pretty badass. Okay, I'll show you. Whoop, that has my address on it. Y'all didn't see that? Hopefully. If so, I'll edit that out. Anyway, okay, this is the first one I ordered. This is a orange purple. That was my doorbell. That means something came. I don't know what, but that's all right. Oh, no, I do have a big Amazon order coming today. Okay, so this is the first one. It's a purple. Um, let's see if I can get my light over here so you guys can see it. It's a purple and orange and, like, brownish swirl. I know you guys can't see with this light, but it's very cool. Really like it. All of his pens, all of Jim's pens come with a metal tip. And a three placer and then you get a bag like I showed you of other Kutramon that you can you know put on there he does not include any plastic tips so if you want to use plastic tips you'd have to get that from somewhere else um, I've gone back to using the metal tips because uh, it works better with the patty wax so isn't that cool I didn't have any dark pens and I wanted a couple of dark pens. So, okay. So that's the first one. It's like an orange and purple. And then the second one, this one says glow stick. I don't really know what that means. Anyway, so it's clear and then it's got red and orange and blue and green and black swirled all through it. So I thought that was really cool. Like I said, I, I had like, I have like pink and purple and glitter and I had lighter colors. So I wanted to get a couple that were dark. Isn't that neat? Very groovy, very groovy. And his pens run anywhere from, you know, $21 to I think $26 each. Um, and I know that a lot of people say that that's expensive, but honestly, I mean, he hand makes these, you guys. I mean, he takes a, a block of acrylic and then uses his, um, what's it called? A lathe? I think it's called a lathe to, you know, make these and, you know, shape them and then do it all. So, I don't know. I've watched somebody use that kind of machine before and it's, it's not easy and it's, it can be hard work. So, um, my friend uses it for wood, but still. Anyway, wanted to show you my two new pens. Aren't they cool? Yay. All right. I'm not going to buy any more stuff in January, you guys. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I have not bought a DP kit in January. I'm not going to. I have a wizardy kit that's on the way, but I ordered that the last day of December, I think. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm on a new kit buy for January. So anyway, just wanted to show you that and all of my, my paddy wax. So let me know uh, who has any of Jim's pens and what you think. Um, love to hear about your pen if you have one uh, in the comments below or if you're thinking of getting one if you have any questions about these pens feel free to comment below or message me on Instagram I'll be happy to chat with you about it um, or if you have any questions about diamond painting in general I'll help in any way I can uh, and also patty wax um, yeah patty wax so cool so yeah, if you have questions about patty wax, I'll try to answer them the best I can. I just started using them um, this past week. And like I said, it, it does take a little bit of a learning curve and I recommend um, watching Robin's video about the patty wax because it really 
it's really helpful. Um, anyway, so that is what I wanted to show you all. I hope you have a lovely Monday. Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, I'm going to have a coloring video. Um, I was going to finish my um, pig from, you know, from that book, The Fairies, Fairies in Dreamland. I was going to finish the peg that we were working on, but because I only have the pillow left to do on the peg, but I want to do Anne from A Colorful Life. I want to do her marker challenge. So I'm going to pick a book, a mandala book, and I'm going to do the marker challenge. And that's going to be my video for tomorrow. And I'm super excited about it because they're brand new markers I have never used. I got them for Christmas. So this will be a fun experience to do that um, on camera. And hopefully it'll, <laughs> it'll be a good one. If not, then you guys get to see that. So anyway, hope you guys have a lovely Monday. Uh, cheers to all of you. And I will see you again really soon.